How did we get here? I think physics denies this possibility. Oh, hey, it's you. Huh. Hello, fellas. I just came by to check on you and see how you're doing. I see you met Alexander, the bloody king of Persephone. The what? The what and the what now? You know that guy, Alexander, you met? A bird? About yay high? Yeah, we know him. The guy with the, the German accent? Yeah, him. Look, don't do what he says. He's leading you the wrong way. Here, if you listen to me, I'll lead you in the right direction. And I'll even give you some answers if you ask for them nicely. Okay. Okay, well, we have a billion. Good. Just do one, and just do what I say, and I promise I'll give you answers. Now, to one answer I'm gonna give you, that's the tricky part. You see, first I wanna know what you wanna know. Oh god, the list goes on forever. Here, I'll let him decide. He has more questions than I do. Why was I strapped to a table in a dark room full of skulls? Either you're really emo, or you are about, or you are about to be harvested. Hmm, I'm a field of wheat. Not exactly. Wheat? Why would you even think that? You're a chihuahua! I don't know, I like to have a big imagination. And he'd go over to sleep, as usual. Boo! Ah! What the? Sweet! Moses! <laughs> I got you good, Bambi. You really thought I was asleep. Yes, I did. <sighs> Backing away from Grover. Anyway. Alright, here, I'll explain to you a couple of things about Persephone. Don't worry, this ties into your question. Persephone thinks they're the bloody capital of the world. Walking around, acting like they own the world. They're, but just because they invented a way to make their people age forever. Make their people age forever? Where is this Persephone? Huh, you may know it as the top secret equestrian lab, but really, it's not that secret if everyone knows about it. And they just, and they just give themselves a big boo-boo by walking in here. Here, let me explain something about them. Their only and their only priority is is power and money. Okay, they'll do anything to, and to get this wonder drug that they all love. And, and what is this wonder drug that they all love? Hmm, I can't remember. It's something to do with superpowers, and shooting lightning out of your hand and stuff. And they all need it? Or they all want it? Ah, both! They want it and need it, and they were not afraid to get it in any way they can possibly can. You see, your little friend here, he's not my friend. Okay, fine, your little nightmare here, <laughs> I'm a nightmare, yay. Yeah. Huh. Was um was about to get um, was about to get all of that chemical sucked out of his body, and um, and since there are more expensive ways to do it, they just eat people. What? Yes, I'm sorry for putting it so bluntly, but if they can't get it, uh, if that you can see ex extraction with a needle for them is way too expensive, so they just eat them. Are you kidding me? You're gonna- So basically, whatever the hamburgers I've been eating for the last few days- No, 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 no. It doesn't affect where you came from, or Cloudsdale, or even wherever we are right now. Oh. And by the way, I'm gonna take you to my home city pretty soon, so you can see a little bit more about history. Good. God, now I know what everybody wants from me. They want to eat me. Precisely. Don't know why they want to eat you. But, I know for sure that that's why they're after you. Deer are very hard to come by around here. Okay, so tell me, why, um, so, how did I get this wonder drug in my body? You didn't, and you don't have it. They don't understand that, the people here, the people in Persephone are morons. They're just crazed for living, th for living hundreds of years. 
I don't trust anyone in that area. I don't trust anyone in this area. I wouldn't trust anyone at all if you came across with. Then why should we trust you? Because number one, I have an ID card and I'm an engineer. And number two, I'm trustworthy. So tell me, um, what's this, all this talk I've been hearing about you in some sort of factory? Huh. No, that's a different story. You can call it a tale of two evils, but I promise we're finding a better way. Better way for what? What are you doing? I don't like anybody here. They're all creeping me out. Now I'm afraid I'm going to be thrown in a giant hamburger machine. This is great. Okay, this is just wonderful. Now we have the hazard of somebody biting my foot. It's like Night of the Living Dead, except the people have tools, which is worse. Night of the Living Dead, all they had was, was hands and rocks. And, the, and at least they had a nice shotgun. But we don't have anything except for this assault rifle, a rocket launcher, and a, and a freaking magnum. We don't have anything. I think you're, I think you're overreacting. There's a simple solution. What's that? Go home. Just leave. This is not any of your business. That's not how you were talking about a second ago. Okay. Well, maybe you can't get home. But there's something in your way. The reason you can't get home is because somebody's up there in, in a control panel controlling all these portals. Wait a minute, if we teleport in front of you, doesn't that mean it's you controlling the portals? I only control half. You never want to know why those guys pop out of nowhere right in front of your face? Well, do ya? It's because someone's trying to get ya. They want you. <laughs> they feed off of living people. They can't get enough of seeing alive people walking around. The people who walk around here are dead. Or they would be dead. They're just animated. Forever. They're cursed. Then they're trying to find, they're trying, I don't know what they're trying to find, but I think the re um, there's two reasons. One reason is because their brain's been so washed they have to force to obey their leader, or, or that they want you to smack them in the face. Why would they want me to smack them in the face? What is this, Club Emo? I don't know. Why? I don't get this world. You have been doing this world a great favor. I mean, I know you've been a bit of a nuisance to me. And some of my plans, but that doesn't matter. Everybody here is a nuisance, and I'm quick to forgive. So all I want you to do is do what I say. Look, I'm the good guy around here, okay? There, whatever you do, don't go to Persephone. You're gonna meet someone who's sick in the head. I, 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 I'll prove it to you. You, you. Your little friend wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for me. You? Yeah, you wanna know the true story of what happened? I saved his life. I caused a teleportation to get him out of there. Why? Because I saw something in him. Guys, my ears itch and I can't reach. I saw something in him. Some, something that nobody else in this whole facility has. Life. Well, why haven't you been helping us? Nobody's really been helping us. Correct. Which is why I'm, go I'm going to be quick to, um, the quick to help you all now. I'm going to assist you. There is a, I, have an, I have a theory. Of how we can take out literally everybody in this whole entire operation in Persephone. You see, I've been studying the place for a long time. Alright, here's the plan. There is a giant reactor in the center of Persephone. It keeps everyone in there alive. And everyone here alive, everyone everywhere alive. Then how come we've killed all those guys? Number one. Uh, number one, because it, it, they can be killed, but they can't die. Naturally. They live forever. Until they meet their end. 
So ba so basically it's get killed or live forever. Jeez, that's just sad. This whole place is sick. Correct, which is why I have a plan that'll not only blow apart that whole entire operation, but it'll save a lot of people. I know who you are and what you're looking for. You're looking for missing people. I'm sorry to say that most of them aren't around anymore. If you want to see the remains of, uh, remains of one of one of your people, then look in the stomachs of the things you've been whacking. It's making them crazed. The chemical is making them crazed. 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 It's making them crazed. Yes, 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 yes. You repeated that like 700 times. Why are you part parrot? <sighs> okay, I've repeated it a lot. Okay. So, I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say this, but you've only found one missing person. The bunch is still out there. Okay. I, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. But there is a way to save whatever people are left and complete your mission and then get the heck out of here. It's a good plan. So, listen carefully. Um, there is a place. Okay, go back to Fontaine Futuristics. Oh, no. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll give you a helping hand. <laughs> Remember, I have control over quite a bit of security in this place. How would you like me to give you a little security escort when you're there? Good, you mean like soldiers? Ha <laughs> ha, no. I mean security bots. Little helicopters that, that fly around and shoot. That sounds amazing! But I'm warning you. I'm warning you. They're not dumb. I haven't given you all the answers, but I've given you a lot. Oh! One more question! Wait. Wait a minute. I forgot what I was going to say. Can I have a question? Yes. What were those walking skins I saw? Those were your missing people. Now, I'm going to be off. Alright, listen to everything I say. A radio will appear. Listen to what I say. Adios. Okay, he seems trustworthy. Wow, that was so informative. But there's still a lot of questions I had. Zalo, little men. You. We were told not to talk to you. We know what you're doing, and it's sick. Za, you know what we're doing. Hmm, I see we can't keep secrets from you. I admit, we should say it with open joy. That's sick, man. That's just really sick. But... Mr. Sykes refused to tell you what he's doing. Then I be and believe me. Like he said, it's a tale of two evils. Which one shall you believe in? You see, Mr. Sykes is not is not not near. Blah! I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, makes him he makes himself sound like he's a saint, like he's trying to rescue the people. But do you know what he does with his own people? I don't know, gives them a promotion? No, stupid dear! He does basically the same thing. There are. Oh, he controls the weather. And you know, it frustrated him one day. He could not get the rainbow recipe right. No matter how much he tried, he failed. For hundreds and hundreds of years, he failed. How do you live that long? Stupid dear! The Persephone Reactor! Our life! Our God! Ugh, you knocked me over, dumb bell. Ow! Oh, my side! That's what you get! You know, but, but, you know what he was doing? He found the, the recipe one day.
and that is a very similar to the chemical that we all thrive and live off of. He wastes it into the sky. He wastes it all, turning thousands more insane every day. He's a wasteful, greedy little man who cannot stand losing and cares nothing about his but 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 his wallet. We care about the people. That's why. Would you? Bah, would you? Wouldn't you sacrifice a few of people of people who are broken and can do more and more good to save an entire population? From what I understand, all you're doing is causing their destruction. We are causing the destruction. Ah! Mr. Sykes is causing their destruction. Stand up like a gentle deer. Mr. Sykes is causing their destruction. Listen to him. Do what you want to do. It's your brain is not my choice. But let me tell you, I'm not going to let you blow up that reactor. I have a f In fact, if you're going to listen to that bumbling idiot, then I guess we're not friends now, are we? Meaning, I have, I have a friend. He didn't even give you the whole story about what we do to them. Did you you want to know uh, how we protect um how we protect ourselves? So you're probably wondering. Certainly, those aren't all the weapons we have up our sleeves. Walking skins and and, and insane people aren't what all we have. Actually, I have a friend right now to demonstrate that for you. Have um, I hope you have a lot of fun. I think you may have, yes, maybe one of the guys you're searching for, uh, Davy. Uh, that's not his name. Whatever. He was a pelican. He was talking about a guy named Davy. Hmm. He was able-bodied. So we turned him into, uh, we turned him into uh, the protector. Adios. I hope you have a very good time. Oh my god! Get me. Damn, what is that thing that he's shooting? Ah, oh, don't hurt my friends. Wow, this is awkward. Mo. No. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Dan. <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a bottle. Hmm. Well, at least we've got rid of this nuisance. Hmm. Let's go. Every last one of them is out stone cold.